We're here today on our Free the Mushrooms log inoculation day, where we are freeing the mushrooms. We are creating an abundance of food using wood and fungal spores so that we could feed our families through the winter months, through the spring, through every season. So come check it out and join us as we look at mushroom log cultivation. Come along. This is a pretty efficient little team we got going. Once you get a few people doing this, it's pretty fast to do like a hundred or more logs. For about $60 worth of spawn and a whole lot of labor, we've got ourselves probably a few hundred pounds of mushrooms that are growing here. Basically what we're doing is we are drilling holes in the logs to fit the green spawn that are in these little plugs. They look like so. As you can see, we're gonna pop those into the logs and then we got a crew over here waxing over the hole. This way, it'll cover them up and we'll be able to have these fruit out mushrooms. These are oysters. We have another set of shiitakes and it's just pretty exciting because it's a simple, easy way you can grow your own food at home. So we're doing this on a tarp because we're gonna collect all this sawdust and we're gonna inoculate that with mushrooms too. We're gonna put that into maybe bags or some other form and start to grow out mushrooms in another way. These will grow much faster than the logs. The logs will take like two years. The sawdust will grow within maybe six months to a year. What they're doing right now is they are covering them in wax. And this is just covering up all these holes as you can see in this one that we've just got grilled and plug so we're able to make sure that only this fungus can grow in it this is an oyster mushroom basically they're like time capsules here's a completed one as you can see we've covered the bottoms we've covered all along here creating like a time capsule of mushrooms within two years we're gonna have fruit coming out of this thing in this case oyster mushrooms and these will last between five to ten years so we've got about five to ten years of fruit if we want to make these into a um, fruiting faster, we'll do what's called forest fruiting, which means we'll stick them and submerge them in water for about 24 hours, and then that'll shock the mushrooms and it'll make the fruit come out faster. So we can do this, if we grow like, you know, 200 of these logs, we might do every two weeks during the fall and the spring, force fruit a few of them so that we've got continual oyster mushrooms coming through the whole season. So literally, the weight of this log is maybe about I don't know, 10 pounds, we could probably grow about six pounds of mushrooms on that. We've got a number of different types of spawn. So these ones are shiitakes. These ones are oysters that we're doing right now. Both are done in the same method. We've also got some maitakes, which we can put into the bases of trees or into a similar method. And we've got some reishi. So we're gonna inoculate a bunch with all of these different types. The reishi should be done into stumps, um, but there is a whole kind of key to that. So, you know, it's easy to print off these sheets where we've got each different type of mushroom that grows in what type of tree. For example, right now we're working with alders. We're gonna be able to grow the shiitakes, the oysters, and the turkey tails really well on those. Whereas the reishi, we're gonna need like a maple, or a plum, or an oak, or a cherry. Picking the right tree for the right mushroom is what we gotta do. But it's really easy. There's so many different places you can get these. These ones are from Puget Sound Exotics and they're based out of Washington. And as you can see, it's a grain spawn that is mixed with these dowels and then grown out on these dowels as food. Once they get into the log, they're gonna start to use the wood in the log as their food. Now these have to be fresh logs. You can't have old logs because they gotta be fresh where the other funguses have not taken them over. So we harvested these about a week ago and we're now plugging them up and it's gonna be a year and a half to two years before we start to see fruit. Here I have a bag of grain spawn done into a sawdust. We're gonna use this as a mulch in our garden beds. So we might take mulch wood chips or something like this. We've got all these different kinds and start to sprinkle this into them and then layer more wood chips on top. What'll happen is they'll start to cultivate those wood chips and will grow out mushrooms. This could be a really nice way to symbiotically create a food from mushrooms in your garden, either in the pathways or mulch over top of the beds. All we gotta do is get some of these types of grain spawns and there's a number of places we can get them from and just start adding them into our food forest, so to speak. So 
growing food doesn't just have to be vegetables. There's plenty of fungi that we can grow in plenty of different ways. As you can see, it's not that hard to start to cultivate our own food using fungi as the base, whether it's logs, in our gardens, or in a green spawn bag. These are all simple and easy ways to create an abundance of food in our diet. Hope you get out and try this, and if you want to learn more, there is so much information on this type of stuff. This is just a little brain hook for you to check in and find new ways to make food, sovereignty, an empowered path for you. All right.